three, two, one. Shorty. Shorty. <laughs> yeah, Julian's slightly lit. Oh, dude, I'm feeling fucking amazing. And I'm feeling even more amazing that we kind of got like the rust shooken off from, you mm-hmm. know, not recording for a minute. And I just love the shorties because we literally could just say whatever, do whatever, just whatever the fuck we want. And it's so loosey goosey. 9 11. What? 9 11. Never happened. What? Yeah. <laughs> Post 9 11, that, that happened. The Twin Towers are flat. Yeah. They were hologram. There, that not that a real, that's one of the real theories that like they were holograms. <laughs> That was a theory. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the real. Like, there's oh a theory that they God. were. I've never heard of that they theory. They weren't really there. And hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. It's fantastic. Anyways, um, so uh, it's my theory. That's, that's I'll, only I'll, your theory. I'll own up to it. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. Um, so we have not recorded an actual episode probably going on a month now. I would say. We explained already why in, yeah, in the episode. The so go watch the episode. fucking episode. Come. Fuck off. You don't, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So with that being said, because we haven't, uh, you know, been in studio, haven't recorded an episode, mm-hmm. there's certain things that I haven't been able to tell you and I've been sitting on for a minute. And this one I think is going to make you fucking laugh. You're detransitioning. I am. I'm going back to a sloth. Completely <laughs> sloth. It's going to be amazing. Uh, I'm excited. No. So there was a fucking shootout. At the beginning, at the you know when you first enter my neighborhood, uh huh. I uh, thought you were gonna say in <laughs> fucking Denver. No, no, it, uh, like uh, probably like three weeks ago, mm. a fucking shootout, dude. So what what happened like was right there, right, right there. there. <laughs> yeah. So what happened was so a few like maybe a mile away from where I live, there was a drug deal gone bad. Dude got his got his drug of choice. I, I don't like know how what you're it was. Talking about as if you weren't there and a part of the drug. I was deal. not allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. Um, as R. Kelly's new lawyer, I would like to say allegedly. They're like you, you just wore a long ass trench coat. <laughs> like you got the stuff, and you just pulled out DVDs of cuties. <laughs> the bootleg. Like, cut. What the fuck is this? It's a Snyder cut. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but so yeah, a drug deal gone bad. Right. A guy got his drugs and did not give the money. Shot at the drug dealer, hopped in his car. Okay, comes barreling down, you know, the street. Decides to turn into our neighborhood, thinking, you know, he's gonna chase, you know, turn in here and just, you know, the guy's gonna go keep going forward, kind of a thing, right? <laughs> little, like, did, little did um, he know <laughs> this saying, is a fucking. It's like, it's like uh, what's it called when you're when you're playing tag and he's like base. Yeah, can't touch time me. Time out, time out, time <laughs> out, time out. <laughs> you gotta go home now. No, no. So little did do? this fucking idiot know though. My neighborhood just it's is a black one, hole. one just big loop. Yes, yeah. So yeah. it ends up where it starts. He so he goes around the road, and the drug dealer, as soon as he's coming back around, the drug dealer's right there. So mm-hmm. he stops. The other guy stops. They have a fucking shootout. Awesome. I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't even hear and any of this. You were there to record it. <laughs> World <laughs> yeah. star. Put it, in, sample it for our our song for <laughs> the <laughs> YouTube <laughs> channel. What was what was it going to be called? Uh, you sample the guy bleeding the tank? to death. Was it? Is that what we're going to yeah, say? Yeah, Harden the Taint. Harden the Taint. That's going to be, uh, what's our fucking rap group? The name that you had come up with. Uh, Wait, we can't reveal that oh, yet. Oh, That's a oh, secret project. Oh, we almost need a tailor to bleep that out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. We haven't had to, have to do that in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I came Jesus up with yes. Yeah, we'll, that's my bad, my bad. We'll, we'll eventually unveil that. Uh, that's my bad. But don't worry, guys. We've got a, we've got a, we've got a lot of content coming. Yeah, dude. So I was sitting on that for a while, dude. It was like the craziest thing, though. So, like, our neighbor texted Holly. It's like, yo, dude, d- the gas station right where I like inside the complex that, that I live at. Yeah, we live in a comp like we live inside of like a, a shoebox right? A thing where like a Publix is and a gas station and stuff like that. It's like still like inside of it. I don't know how to describe it, but basically the are you are you living in the back of the Publix? Yeah, I live in the dumpster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you Brenda's where, baby? Where they bring in all the freight? Like uh, I live in the loading little, dock. Yeah, exactly. Like, I live on. I'm the troll under the loading dock. <laughs> the Jew yeah, troll. If they, they, they want to bring their dock. trucks in, they have to answer my riddles. <laughs> Riddle thee thrice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why they're always missing one pallet of, mm. uh, of food and shit. Yeah, it's just the kosher salt every time. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing you go it's for. It's Precious to us. Hey. I it's don't like know a, anything about the Jew magic, but if you say so. Yeah. We sprinkle it on our food and it uh keeps the gas those, chambers away. <laughs> I was like, gives you those luscious <laughs> curls. <laughs> Dude, speaking of which Speaking of gas chambers, let me not forget how about let me forget he? about this. But like there's uh, like a crazy weird I I think I've mentioned this on the podcast before, but I keep noticing it more and what's more. That? 
some of the stores, some people may or may not know that I'm a merchandiser. So I go, uh, basically to Takes different, many I go to different grocery right stores and basically like work the product for the company that I work for and make sure that it's stocked and stuff like that looking yeah. good. Right. And so basically I've noticed that in certain areas in Florida, there are like really big popping, like Jew communities. Really? I don't know what it is, but like, uh, like the 535 area, oh. like SeaWorld and stuff like that. Like is around it, so, there, there's just like so like every store I go into is very full Jewish. of fucking hmm. fucking Jews. So how can you identify them? The hat, the little. Or, well, once or just I stop look. hitting them, I can tell by the blood. <laughs> it comes out black. Uh, it's like tar. It's it's like uh, fucking the 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 venom. Remember from uh, yeah, it just bleed. It <laughs> it just like burns through everything. <laughs> it's like one of those spitting lizards from Jurassic Park. It's, it's fucking uh, from Alien. Just the head pops yes, out. Yes, exactly. It's like. <laughs> That makes more sense. I'm sorry to all my Jewish f- friends out there. Yeah, they've got like uh, this little secondary, like little. It's under the tongue. Mm-hmm. <sighs> it pops out. It looks like Woody Allen. That's what really does your taxes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's running Hollywood. The thing <laughs> yeah. under the tongue. There's another conspiracy for you. Hey. They were all holograms. All of them. That's that's what like the far right people would say about <laughs> the, the Holocaust. It was all holograms. Hey. Do we have any actual accounts of it? None. Yeah. Zero. <laughs> so, I mean, the argument is... Oh, so you're just yeah. going to believe historians then. All right. All those shoes in the museum. Okay, no, no, no. So what I was uh, going to say about the, the gas station, oh, like right there where we live, is that yeah. it's been like fucking robbed like three or four times since we've lived there. Right. And it's right there. It's 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 right fucking there where we live to the point where the, there's an Italian joint like right in front of our community. Uh-huh. And... When that place got robbed, like, the second time, the bullet that they shot went all the way across the parking lot into the Italian place. And, like, we were just thinking, like, holy shit, if we were eating here, (laughs) like, what, like, fuck this shit. And that's why he hates Italians now. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Lump them in with the Jews. (laughs) Might as well. So, basically, uh, yeah, no, familiar with it. Uh, Fucking, like, uh, I don't know what the fuck is going on right now. And I I don't even know what the fuck... Like, why anybody would rob that gas station is beyond me. It's a fucking piece of shit. I don't know shit. why anyone would rob Rob's any gas, gas stations. stations at all, dude. My first job was working overnights at a yeah, gas station. You, that's the, I, I told I feel you how so it got fuck, robbed, right? so fucking terrible. It was after I worked there, but they, uh, the, the I footage of it. I would have quit on it, the spot. The footage of it was, like, going around on Facebook and stuff. And of you getting robbed? No, it wasn't me. It was after uh, I worked there. Okay, and okay. it was a guy I knew, like, from working Muhammad. there. Muhammad? And, yeah. And... It was fucking crazy. It was these three dudes who apparently I went to high school with. <laughs> they decided to rob their Ginger, local gas Chris, station. And, and uh, uh, you were the third, I believe, right? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was <laughs> inside all of job. us. <laughs> it was like the plot to Ocean's 13. <laughs> yeah. He was in on it. Yeah, everyone was. Bernie Mac um, was there. So basically spirit. they, they like, immediately they come in. They've got their guns out. Like, I've, I've seen the footage of it, right? Right. It's all choppy and shitty looking. <laughs> fucking course. Looks like but, a shot um, on a fucking. Oh. Oh, you've got your ringer on. So that, wanna... no, uh, the ringer is actually for an uh, old game we played one on one oh, episode. Oh, yeah, you're doing so, that. So uh, I'm kind of like Oprah. Look, look, go ahead and look underneath that seat for me, buddy. Underneath, yeah, underneath that seat. Be careful. Look underneath that seat. There's a present there for you. Oh, nice. Yeah, go and get go and get that. Show, show, show the fans. Let me, let me we'll, go grab that before <laughs> without like dislodging. Oh yeah, good luck with the that. camera and shit. I was going to put it under your actual seat, but I figured you'd probably spill it. Oh, I definitely would have. <laughs> So I was like, yeah, let's not I'm too do fucking that. fidgety. <laughs> As he attempts. All right, all right. I have what they like to call Tourette's of the body. I think that's called Parkinson's. <laughs> <laughs> Michael J. Fox has that, too. <laughs> uh, let, me, let, me, let me get back into my seat. Yeah, yeah, get back in your seat. Don't break a before bone. Before we do any of this. All righty. So, yeah, that was not uh, just me being a complete irresponsible asshole let me uh readjust myself do it do it how am i in frame you are Looking perfectly sexy. fucking dude we're we slowly are Got getting the lighting. on display your lighting looks a lot better than mine but we're getting there all righty cheers my friend to getting back into the fucking studio and getting back into this fucking podcast Ooh, that was a big one. Um, you're on camera. I was gonna say, okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> yes, we're recording. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, this is a fucking shorty, guys. <laughs> Anything goes. Nothing. Uh, uh, okay, the one thing I wanted to say to you. Yes. That I, I had told you on the car ride over here. I was like, remind oh, me. about the identical twins, right? Yes. Okay. So okay. I was like, remind me for the podcast, but I totally forgot about it for the podcast. So now I have to bring it up here because it's just like, it's too it's too crazy. Let's do it. Because I saw this. I kept, I kept hearing you mumbling like, it's real. It's like, it's legit. <laughs> yeah. So is that what you were talking about? <laughs> yeah, this yeah. story. Okay, I'm fucking I, intrigued I, already. I, Let's I'm hear it. I'm mind blown by this. So Let's basically, I... Uh, I saw this TikTok today uh-huh. and the this lady was like, I'm an identical twin. This is my twin sister. And she showed her twin her twin sister. She goes, This is my twin sister's daughter. This is my daughter or my son or whatever, right? <clears throat> and she goes, For those of you who don't know, when when identical twins have children, legally speaking, they're cousins to each other. But genetically they're half siblings. So, ah, and I looked it up and that's it's true. true. Yeah, it is true. So they share so much DNA with each right, other. Right. It's indistinguishable between if you took actual half siblings uh-huh. and you took them, they would like, if It'd you tested the their thing. DNA, they'd be like, oh, they, these two are siblings. That's fucking crazy. That's fucking insane to me, dude. That's science, bitch. My whole like... <laughs> Like understanding of that. So I had to look it up because I was like, I, I need to know if this is real or not. And then no, I looked I mean, it up it and makes, it is. It makes complete sense though. I mean, if you think about it, I, just, I guess I never the just earth really. earth is flat. Holograms twi- of Twin Towers is a legit mm-hmm. thing. The Holocaust didn't happen. Never happened. It was uh, a publicity stunt to uh, actually just get rid of the the, st- uh, the style of mustache that Hitler wore. Mm. Um do you, think, do you think Michael little, Jordan like started doing it? Yeah, but he kind of did, didn't he? Yeah, he tried. Yeah, he kind of did. He was bringing it back, man. Dude, it, just imagine. What if it, that was him? The, the start of everything. Like he was just like, and then also, I don't. What, know. what, what what's what, what are we doing about all these Jews? <laughs> like he's uh, that was what he the, starts he, leaning more. You, and you more. never watched that uh, that docu series Last Dance? That's yeah. ex- that's what it was all about. It was the Last Dance with the Jews? There's mm-hmm. like a dot 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 underneath it. Like, last stop. Auschwitz. <laughs> yeah. Just MJ in a fucking conductor's uniform. Yeah, uh, no. I So I, uh, two things I want to bring up. Now that for some reason we brought up Michael Jackson. I don't know if I've talked about this on the uh, podcast bring up or Michael not. Michael Jackson? Oh, no. Uh, Michael Jordan. Oh. My bad. So I don't, know, I don't know if I've talked about, yeah. I don't know if I've talked about this on the podcast or not, but I think I brought it up to you in a phone call a couple of weeks ago Okay. about how I, and, and this is like any one of my friends, any one of my friends will know this because I've said it before, uh, but I want to make it clear. I believe that, uh, that, that sports games are one gigantic conspiracy as in they're all so playing like Madden. Oh, FIFA, oh, okay, okay, okay. Like I, th- I thought you meant like 2k, okay, okay, yeah. anything like that. Cause okay. So bear with me right now. Okay. Right. When you're playing something like Call of Duty, right, and it gives you instructions on how to play, it'll say this button makes you run, mm-hmm. this one is to crouch, this one is to aim, this one's to fire. When you do all of those things, it works the way it's supposed to, right? Correct. You like, and if you aim your gun at the target and you're on target, right? So and you I already fire know it, where you're going with this, and I have an the, argument. I have a counter. Okay, argument. well, let me okay. fucking finish okay, it. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. I just holograms <laughs> everywhere. Holograms. <laughs> <Twin> towers. <laughs> Never ever. So, so basically. What I want to say is that when you're playing a fucking sports game right. and they go, this is the button you use to fucking throw the ball. This is the button yeah, you yeah. use to make the goal. This is the button for any of this. And you do it and it doesn't work. <laughs> fucking bullshit. This is a <laughs> lie. They're scamming all of you. All of life is a lie. So let me ask you, if you were playing Call of Duty and they yeah. go, this is the button aim and you aim and your fucking guy sneezed, what would you fucking say if you were in the middle of a match and that Kazentai. happened? <laughs> yeah. Duh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> or he goes to shoot and you're on target and he's just like, ah, something's in my eye. <laughs> and he just fucking starts floundering. I honestly just assume that's what happened every time I shot. And that's why my that's shots are always off. That's how they got Epstein. <laughs> yeah. Duh. Yeah. He's not dead either. Yeah, of course. He was uh, actually part of the. It was whole a hologram. Twin Tower hologram. It was the whole thing. The whole prison actually. I'd love if we could do something like that where we just uh, every every everything. conspiracy theory is hologram stuff, <laughs> like the moon landing holograms. hologram. Easy, come on! Are you kidding me? Yep. Like, That's actually if you if you didn't notice this is actually a fun fun fact about Earth isn't the real. Uh, moon landing. Uh, all the footage that was shown to the public of the moon landing. Yeah. 
was actually filmed in the studio and is actually they I mean that's been known Snyder cut but no not even the Snyder <laughs> cut it's actually just a uh, bonus footage to the ET movie Oh, yeah. who who was it that they said like the a part of the conspiracy who like it was a director that they said that they hired was it Oh um fuck that's on the tip of my tongue too I mean, if I didn't take that last that, shot like, I probably... had filmed the fucking moon landing let me look uh, this up it's like I think it's David Finch Oh that doesn't know it could be but that that's not David Fincher let me see it was uh, Quentin Tarantino in this year's blockbuster thriller slash comedy slash Quentin Tarantino movie. Yeah, Julian's just vamping Fake for you guys right now. Moon landing slash. Oh, Stanley Kubrick. Stanley Kubrick. Yeah, okay. That's what, yeah, that's, yeah, it was Kubrick. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, who the fuck it's was The Shining, it? right? Uh, yes. Yeah, okay. That's, yeah. okay. That's. I was going to say that. But I was like, I didn't want to be the asshole and be completely wrong. But like, you fucking dumb motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the hell? That's not even yeah. close. Tim Burton? What? That. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, to, stage, to stage a conspiracy, who's your director? Who's your director of choice? Not based on whether or not they're really good at it, but mm. who makes the most interesting conspiracy? That would have to be... I got mine already. I know. I know where I'm going with this. Oh, dude, I got a three three way tie, but it's for different reasons. Okay, hit me with them. So, I think. Wait, if, let me let me go, go first because I feel first, like yours are yours are going to be so much more thought out in like a in a strange way. I'm going with Edgar Wright, the guy who did like Hot Fuzz, The World, oh, okay. and Shaun of the Dead, uh, Scott Pilgrim versus the World. I okay, think he's okay. going to give me the most like like uh, interesting. Uh, a cinematic story that I've ever experienced in a, in a conspiracy. I can just see people trying to unravel things for years to come with his style of editing and everything like that. Okay. So I think it would be an interesting matchup that or Ron Jeremy. Ooh, and that's actually, okay. So scratch one of the two one, for you. So, yeah. Okay. okay. I'll scratch them off my list. Um, I was actually going to go with, uh, okay, you're going to hate me for this one. A uh, bad, Baby, <laughs> Bet, is, yeah, she's a director. Now? Oh my god, I just remember. Is she of age yet? No, she's like seventeen. <laughs> careful, <laughs> you be careful, Care- cuties. <laughs> <laughs> you be careful, guy. Um, what's it called? You haven't heard about the Doctor Phil controversy, right? With that, no. Uh, fin- go, go with your director thing, and then we'll end with that. I honestly don't know where I was going with my director thing. Honestly, I had three, and then I thought about it. I was like, I oh, kind of don't like that at all. And you took Drawn Jeremy off, so I was like, oh. Yeah, you're done. You're had just to, done. You had to, you know, think about it. I was like, you know what? So no, but I guess okay. Honestly, I think a Tim Burton one would be fucking weird. That'd be crazy. It'd be like scary weird. Awesome. Like, I I totally love and that. With that being said, I also think his goofy, like his wife is, you know how he puts his wife in everything too. Everyone's like, "What the fuck is she?" Who, doing? Who's that? What? Yeah, yeah. Did she just shoot the president? You, you're talking about Johnny Depp, right? His wife. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. They're married, and they kill Amber Heard. <laughs> no, I they frame wish. Amber Heard with the conspiracy theory. <laughs> but Dude, it's not watching really... the Snyder cut, I was really like, "Fucking kill her!" Did you kill send me that TikTok? I think I did, where the people are like, yeah, yeah, kill her. Kill yeah, her. no, yeah. I, when I was watching it, I was fucking I think like, dude, about screw this bitch. Did. Uh, I, I was hoping mm. with the Snyder Cut, they were going to take her out. I didn't know how, like, important to the fucking Like, they introduced story, Johnny Depp as a villain, and he just beats the <laughs> shit out of her. Just straight up kills her. Why That's couldn't they motivates. recut for that? Like, That's that would have been the one scene that I would kept watch. from, from, from uh, Joss Whedon's, if he would have introduced that. Johnny Depp just plays. They recast him as Dark Side. He just plays Johnny Depp. <laughs> He's Dark Side, but he looks just like Jack Sparrow. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> He's like the, hello, the, love. Hello, <laughs> rub the, the rum, the, the fucking rum. <laughs> You've been taking a couple liberties with. What, <laughs> he's just like, cow, cow, cow. Uh, yeah, you know, but he does. I can't punch properly because of the fucking mic. I have to like <laughs> swing awkwardly. Uh, it's like that bitch with the boxing glove glued on. <laughs> Dude, that was watch a the full story. episode. Guys. Full episode, you fucking pieces of shit. Um, okay, so the thing I what was a uh, what was something I was gonna bring up to you? It was so weird. Was Aside it your from penis? The direct, bad baby thing. Bad baby. Uh, I I feel like we can end it on this. Like, yeah, we will, yeah, we're good. We'll how end much it. are we? Where are we at now? Probably got about five minutes. Okay, cool. Four. So, uh, uh, Daniel Bergoli, Three. you know the yeah, Two. Daniel Bergoli, the um, <laughs> Catch Me Outside girl from yeah, uh, the Dr. very Phil. educated. Yeah, well, so she's been on like um. TikTok a lot. I think she just got out of rehab like a couple of months ago or <laughs> something like her. that. She's 17 years old. 
Uh, she actually seems like she's doing better with her life. You know what I mean? She's she's kind of lessened the go? accent too. <laughs> like she's kind of like. I still love that episode that of Dr. Phil where she, like, she just didn't have it. And then all of a sudden she oh, had yeah, it again. At the ranch. <laughs> yeah. So basically the controversy has to do with the ranch. So okay. she basically has made several statements as well as a couple other kids. Was it who Jackson's have ranch? Been there. And they said that there was, that for one thing, they said there, I think they said a murder had been committed there. Oh, nice. Which, while she was there? Supposedly. I, 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 I can't speak on like this to like the, like to the T, but what okay. I, I did watch the video and. She was talking about it was like poor conditions. And obviously that's relative because like, you know, she said that it was like bad food, not good food. But like who, I don't know, like her opinion of what good food is. They they serve filet mignon all day. Yeah. What if it was just steamed vegetables and like, (laughs) like not red meat? And she was just like, oh, the fuck is this? What the fuck is a clown? Or my hot Cheetos and fucking (laughs) bubblegum. Yeah. So I, I don't know when it comes to that stuff, but she said that they were like very physical with the kids. And it's just like, again, I don't really know what you want to say about that. Like she, you know, she, she made a lot of claims that like uh, people were being like held and stuff like that against their will. But again, again, they're not there of their own vo- fruition right Right. like their parents sent them there and if you try and leave they're going to restrain you right yeah yeah so it's it's so i mean you you sometimes have to throw fucking people's elbow yeah that mom with the boxing glove showed she knows what's up again (laughs) go back and watch the the fucking episode bitches (laughs) her and her daughter team up (laughs) so uh yeah and apparently somebody was murdered and they're trying to cover it up i don't know but she asked for dr phil to issue a public apology to herself and all the other people that were there and she I don't know how this is going to turn out, but like, hmm. here's the thing: is uh, Doctor Phil is a fucking quack. You don't know for he hasn't sure. been cer- he hasn't been certified to practice what is it psychiatry in like twenty or psychology. Some years. I, I think psychiatry. Yeah, he he hasn't had like his credentials for years, decades. Right, right. Um, and he's he's an egotistical fucking dirtbag. He is who doesn't care he's about got getting a people nice better. Nice mustache, bro. Yeah. Well, he should definitely go for the Hitler thing. Bring back the. Uh, I, I think he. I think if you notice, like Jordan, if you look at uh, him, think he can ball. I mean, he's got some. He's tall. Like I, like a Larry it, what Bird was it, uh, type. Saw fucking... three when him and him and Shaq are chained up together. Oh yeah, not Saw three. Uh, uh, <laughs> scary movie. <laughs> <That's a Saw. laughs> yeah, scary movie. But it was the Saw scene. Yeah, they yeah, were yeah. doing a parody of it. Uh, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Uh, I, I love how they address it. He cuts it. off his yeah, fucking he cuts off the wrong leg. Yeah, it's fantastic. Doctor Phil. He's like you, Dr. dumb Dr. fucking <clears throat> neighbor. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So. Ending on that note, regardless of whether or not whatever happened, I want to put it out there that Dr. Phil, I believe he's a fucking quack. He's a scumbag quack who cares nothing about actually getting people better. I've seen I've seen actual like psychiatrists and psychologists, whatever it is, debunk his methods on his show to like helping people. And he's more concerned with uh, the drama, people clapping at him for his one liners. And uh, getting viral moments than he is anything else. I could give two fucks about what he says. So I just want to put that out there, regardless of whether or not what she's saying is true. And he is. And if even a tenth, even even if a fraction of what she's saying is true, then yeah, he he should be held liable for whatever happened to these. So what I say is, there's apparently some assaults too, like of a sexual nature. But um, if that's the case, then. So we are uh, calling you out, Doctor Phil. We want a public uh, apology. Want a boxing match? Like Him and Jake YouTube Paul style. <laughs> Him and Jake it's Paul. It's gonna be box. me and Julian. Each of us gets one glove. We glue them to our hands and we hold each other. Dude, no, we get the gloves from the bitch from Florida. Mm-hmm. I'm not. Oh, sorry, I'm not gonna watch the fucking episode. You Dude, fucking you don't want her coming here. We live in Florida. <laughs> she shows up at your doorstep with the gloves. Oh, uh, they ain't ready for it. Fuck you guys. All right, we're out, Shorty. bitches. Shorty, we're fucking out, bitches. Uh, another good one. I fucking that with was no hiccups, no no visual or audio issues or anything like that. But we lose all the footage and the audio. Everything's gone. 